If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out fifacoinzone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. What's up guys, welcome back to another sniping video. So yesterday I showed you guys a load of sniper filters, so make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already. In this video I'm showing you over 10 more sniper filters to do with a brand new marquee matchup. If we actually take a look, we have two days to use these sniping filters. You can make yourself a bit of profit and hopefully you guys can pick up a load of cards. So yesterday we covered these top two games and our sniping filters. Today we're looking at the Braga and the Egypt Ghana match to basically snipe our players. So when you're sniping, you want to be looking at the requirements. So we need 11 Portuguese players, one player from each of the clubs, and this is our formation. So you might want to look at CDM, right mids, left mids, right backs, left backs. And you actually need gold players for that one. And Egypt, Ghana, you need four rare players, players from different leagues, and then just Egypt and Ghana are players. So now we're going to get into the sniping filters. I'll show you guys the filter, do a bit of live sniping, hopefully pick up some live deals, and run through all of them in this video. So make sure to drop a like if you do enjoy it. Subscribe down below for the latest trading methods, sniping filters, things like that. Let's go. So the first filter is sniping these Victoria players. So again, you need to find the minimum buy now of all of the players for that club. Next we have to, and if we actually take a look, you can see it's roughly about 650, 700 coins. We'll probably say 700, but it might take a couple of minutes for the cards to sell on. So we want to be picking up our cards for about 600 coins or lower. And then you do get sniping. And with this filter, not too many cards are getting listed up right now, to be honest. We might be able to pick up one live, but it kind of just depends if you're a bit lucky whether cards do get listed up. But I'm just showing you guys a load of filters. You can try them out for yourself. And hopefully in this video, we can make some live profits. Here we go. And 600 coins and Bemba. We managed to pick them up. We can sell them on for 700 coins. I know in these videos, you can compare the price. Check the player because they might be price fixed, as you can see here. 750, 800. He isn't really going for too much more, but some of the plays you do pick up might be going for a little bit more. So we'll list them up for 700 coins. It didn't take too long to pick them up, and that is our first filter. So the next filter, all you need to do, keep everything the same, but switch the quality over to gold. And then again, you need to find the minimum buy now. So I think since this challenge actually required, I think it was eight gold players, it was quite a lot of gold players. Gold players from this club, there aren't too many, but they're going for quite a bit of coins compared to the other ones. So you can see the minimum buy is about 1.2 thousand coins. If you want to be picking up your cards for about 1.1 or cheaper, maybe 1k or under. And then again, you just get sniping. So with these gold cards, if they get listed up for their minimum, you can probably pick them up for about 400 coins, sell them all for 1.2k, make like a 750 coin profit after tax, which is pretty nice. So hopefully we can pick up another live snipe with this filter. I'm not too sure how the market is right now. Not too many cards have been listed up when I've been trying it earlier. But you never know, we might have some luck and might be able to pick up a nice snipe. Here we go, and 1.1k Ferreira. Have we got it? Have we got it? Oh, we missed that card there. We, were we needed to be a bit quicker on that card, but at least we've seen one. Hopefully we can see another card for this filter and then we'll move on to the next one. Here we go, and 1.1k. Oh, I've messed that one up, but we missed an Alex again. 1.1k, we, we could have sold it off for 1.3. So the next sniping filter, since that actually, since that score builder challenge required Portuguese play, you want to set the nation over to Portugal. And then again, just find the minimum buy now. So these Portugal players aren't too expensive. As you can see, the minimum buy now is about 450, 500 coins. But with bronzes and silver cards, you can pick them up like for 200 coins, make quick profits as long as quite a lot of cards get listed. So if anyone lists a Portuguese card cheaper than 350 coins, we can make a profit on it. And depending on who the card is depends on how much profit we make. So there we can see we picked him up for 200 coins. Worst case we could sell it on at 450. But you might want to have a quick look through compare price to see the minimum binder. So at the moment I've seen 650 cards and that is it. So his cheapest is 650. I'm going to list this card up for 600 coins. Easy 350 coin profit just a bit over. And then next card back to back snipes. This filter might be one of the better ones to do because so many cards get listed. But the profits are all varied. It might take a bit longer to list up the cards. But you can make a lot of profit. Like this card here. I think 700 coins is minimum buy now. While looking through all of these. There might be one. Yeah, 700 coins is minimum. You can list it for 650. There we go. Pick them up for 200. Sell them on for 650. Easy profit. And the worst case with this one. You sell them on at 450 and you're still making profit. If you want to slightly change up this filter, you can actually go Portugal and put the Portuguese league. It ups the minimum buy now just a little bit. Not too much. As you can see, there's cards for 550. If we search 500, we could probably sell our cards at 500. So you can slightly switch it up and search just for the Portuguese players in the Portuguese league like that. We missed him. They go for a little bit more coins. But I recommend just doing Portugal overall because so many more cards actually get listed up. So now these are all variations of the Portugal method. You guys will probably know it already. 
if you're like not picking up too many cards with Portugal on its own, you might want to swap out the position. So first of all, if we take Defender for an example, you can see Portugal Defenders, the minimum buying that was a bit higher than searching all of the players, like 550 maybe, maybe even 600 coins, roughly 600 coins, there's one card. You can actually see for Defender, the minimum buying that was about 650 coins. So you want to be picking these cards up for about 550 or 500 coins on the snipe. And Portugal Defenders, again, you get sniping. So not as many cards will get listed up compared to just a normal Portugal filter. However, with this, you should be guaranteed a little bit more profit just because the minimum buy now is slightly higher. So we missed that card there for 350. That could have been a nice deal. And since you're searching defenders, still quite a lot of cards will pop up because you've got right backs, left backs and centre backs. So hopefully we can see one more card, hopefully pick it up live with this filter and make a bit of profit. Here we go. And 500 coins, we picked him up and it is a left back. So we can compare price, he might go for a little bit more because defenders, the cheapest are the centre backs, then I'd probably say right backs and left backs are about equal, but sometimes the left backs are worth more, the right backs are worth more. So you can see his minimum buy now is 700 coins, we picked him up for 500, we can sell him off for 650, not too bad profit there and it didn't take too long as well. So linking on from defenders, you can actually look at the right backs and the left backs separately because they do go for a bit more. As you can see, the right backs, minimum buy now is about 750 coins. If you want to be picking up your right back for about 650 or less and instant snipe, 550 coins. We picked one up, so we got Perea here. That is actually a nice card as well. We picked him up for 550. If you want to scan, go compare price to find their minimum buy now. We know we can sell it on for about 750 coins, but looking from that, I think we could sell it on for like 800, 900 coins. I'll sell it on for 900. Decent profit there for like an instant snipe. And that is the right back filter. So with left back, all you need to do is head over to the left back. Find the minimum buy -in. So here, we've got about 650 coins. We may be able to squeeze it for 700, but now nah, there's too many. So you want to sell this card for 650. Instead of just searching left backs, you should probably just go over defenders. But the prices may change, so you can just snipe a left back like this. However, I think it's worth just doing the defender filter instead. So the last filter to do with Portugal is looking at that formation. I think it was the 4141, and that involves a CDM. So you can snipe a Portuguese CDM and hopefully make a bit of profit. So if we take a look, the minimum buy now of the CDM cards is about 650, 600 coins. If we actually take a look, there aren't too many cards at 700 coins, so we may as well just be able to sell them for that, but you might have to wait a little bit longer. Do so you want to snipe these cards for about 600 coins or less? And all of these cards on the market, it deals right now. I guess this is like lazy buying, to be honest, because those four cards, I believe it was, they are all like, we can sell them on for 700 coins. It won't take too much longer to sell them on. We might have to wait five minutes, but they're just three deals. We've just, four deals, we've picked up literally doing nothing at all. So list all those up for 700 coins. You guys get the gist of it anyway. Snipe them for 600, sell them on for 700. They might, wait, they're the same cards. They might take a little bit to sell on because there were quite a few cards for 700 coins, but you're gonna be picking up so many cards for 600. The profit's small, but it adds up. Like right there, we picked up five snipes already and it literally took us no time at all. So those are all the sniper filters related to the Portuguese game. So the other game is the, the Egypt map, Egypt Ghana. So with Ghana, there weren't actually the, with Ghana, the players weren't very expensive, so it wasn't really worth sniping, but there are some sniping filters for the Egypt players. So the first filter is just Egypt on their own, and you need to find the minimum buy now. So if you take a look, the minimum buy now of all Egypt players is about 450, 400 coins. Do so you want to be picking these up for about 300 or cheaper? Maybe you can go 350. And I know this filter, you might not make too much profit, but I don't think anyone is really sniping the Egypt players. So if someone lists up a bronze for cheap, you can pick that up on the snipe. I'm not too sure how many cards get listed up with this filter, but it's just a simple one like the Portuguese one. Not too many people might be trying it, but these cards are quite cheap, so there isn't too much of a profit. Here we go, and 350 coins on Hafez, left back. You might go for a little bit more. So again, you want to compare price. Picked them up for 350 coins. There's one for 500 one for 800 i think this 550 as well 650 i reckon we can probably list them up for about 450 coins it isn't the biggest profit but that's that egypt filter didn't take very long at all to pick up a card and yet so the next filter is egypt left mid so if we take a look at the minimum buy now of the egyptian left mid it's 1.2 thousand coins i think there are only like two actually of these players which meet the criteria on the game so i don't think too many cards will get listed up but if you pick one of these cards up for their minimum, you're basically making a thousand coins, not including the tax profit. So it's really nice if you'd managed to pick one up. 
but I'm not too sure how many cards get listed and I don't think it's too often that cards get listed for the filter. But you may as well give it a go if you want to be making like a bit more profit when you're sniping. But I'd probably rather make a load of small profits than a couple of big profits. So we're going to snipe for a bit. Hopefully try and see one card pop up. But I'm not too sure on this one. I'm not. My hopes aren't too high to be honest that we'll see one. But you never know. We might be able to pick up one for a nice little profit. So that's the Egypt left mid filter. You can try it but I'm not too sure if too many cards will pop up. And you can actually do sentiment as well if you see the minimum buy now again. About 1.2, 1.3k. These filters, they're not too many cards actually for the criteria. So you can make a lot of profit like here. 1.2, 1.5. I think I may as well just pick these up and list these both up for 3,000 coins. Because if someone needs him in a centre mid, they're going to have to pay the minimum price on the market. So I can list this probably up for about 1.9, 1 1.8 thousand coins. With the Egyptian one, you could probably switch up like the position for most of them and be able to find your own sniping filter. I'm just covering the basis and that's about it for the video. So I've shown you over 10 sniping filters. You can see here we picked up 13 cards. Seven of them have sold on already basically instantly and these other cards should sell on very soon. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy and want more sniping filters on the channel. And that's about it from me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video.